it was a genocide and it is a fact that Igbos were dealt with if you know where you're coming from then you can have an idea of where you're going to is a fact I'm upset and exhausted at the same time hi guys good morning good afternoon good evening whatever time you're on welcome to hang with omar it's your girl omar thank you for clicking to watch and thank you for subscribing to my channel if you haven't already is that red subscribe button on your screen please click it and the notification bell pop up beside it so let's also that you've been inspired every time i upload if you're returning subscriber thank you for always coming back i appreciate you thank you very much Please, if you're hearing noise in the background, it's my toddler and um, try to just ignore us, okay? <laughs> you guys, yesterday, I had no peace. I had no peace at all. I'm just... I'm sure that... Almost everybody that is in Nigeria knows what's going on in the eastern part of Nigeria right now. I think Imo State is having its worst, but every state in the east is experiencing some sort of chaos or the other. And I don't know what to make of this. You've seen so many disturbing clips, you guys. So many disturbing clips. Police people on Children's Day drop people out of their vehicle in Enugu and start flogging them. Is it the man that was brought out of his vehicle and was shot in broad daylight in Enugu? Is it the ones in Imo State? I can't even count anymore. It's a lot. It's a lot, you guys. Burning, destroying of things, people's lives. I think I heard there was unrest in um, Omar here yesterday as well. Onicha Head Bridge was locked down and there was unrest in Onicha too. So many eastern parts of this country, is it that the Igbos are fighting themselves? Or is it that hoodlums were perpetrated into the eastern to cause chaos? I don't understand what's going on, you guys. I had no peace. I was texting, calling, checking up on people to know how they are doing, you know. It's a lot. It's a lot, you guys. It's a lot. It seems that my anger was fueled by this Nigerian celebrity, Etinosa. I'm not sure if I said the name very well. Because this doctor I know was making tweets, you know, saying things about the culture of the history of Nigeria, actually. The fight between Biafra and all that he was putting images in. I guess it was too much for her to handle because most times, see, when you're hearing the truth, it's not everybody that can take it, okay? These were facts, the things that happened. It wasn't a war, it was a genocide. And it is a fact that Igbos were dealt with, okay? All the hard work we, we, we put in, all the money we made, they conf confiscated everything and they gave everybody 20 pounds to start afresh. Whether you're rich or you're poor, everybody was brought to the same level to humble us, to start afresh. So yeah, all these things were fat. Images of malnutrition and all those things were fat. They were things that happened. But she was complaining that, eh, why do you keep sharing it? Why do you keep saying it? Eh, even though it happened, let bygone be bygone. He is not instigating anything. He is not saying anything that is false. But that truth needs to be said. The truth needs to be known. It's, if you know where you're coming from, then you can have an idea of where you're going to. It's a fact. It's just like saying... Okay, black Americans should forget about where they came from, should forget that their their forefathers, ancestors were slaves. They should just completely ignore it and let bygone be bygone, let them just move forward to the future. Does that make any sense? Because even though you say, Ah, I forgot to know I'm not a black American, I do not have history of slavery and all that. The white person in that same country has not forgotten. And they still do not treat you as equal, not all of them anyway, but most times you see issue of racism coming out in different, either in your workplace, at home, even when you go to shopping, you see people complaining issue of racism everywhere. Police officers cannot protect you the way they are supposed to be because they are racist. Things like that happening. So you can't tell them to forget their history. Uh, let's let bygone be bygone. Let's move forward. Then the people that you're supposed to be moving forward with are not treating you like they want to move forward with you together as one individual. I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense. This is supposed to be a quick rant, but... 
So you guys, I don't know. I don't know what's happening to my country right now. I'm, I'm, it's, it's about to rain. I don't know what's happening to my country right now, and I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm, I'm upset and exhausted at the same time. It's a quick rant. Just tell me what you think. Of all these things happening, tell me what you think. In the area you're staying, if you're in Nigeria, is it affected? If you're not in Nigeria, do you know anybody that is in Nigeria that the area they are staying is affected by all this chaos and fight? Do you check up on your loved ones here back home if you are not home? If you are home, do you still check up on your loved ones in areas that are rowdy? Just let me know in the comments, okay? Let's just continue our conversations over there. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, please give this video a thumbs up. It really, really helps my channel a lot. And if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next one.